Okay, so now we're going to start laying out our splines. This is the uh, part one of creating our splines. So we're going to go to our splines tab and we'll use the line tool and we're going to go from our side angle here. This is uh, the front um, viewport. Okay, and I'm just going to start shaping out how I want my car to look. And I'm starting with the, uh, the roof line. Uh, I'll draw out some more lines here. I'm really just doing this freehand uh, right now. This is just laying some lines down. One that represents here that I just laid down is the belt line of the car. Then, then goes and extends from the hood down to the back of the car. All right, so we have two areas that we can work with here. And then we can go into each line and start to tweak these guys, all right? So I'm just gonna move these around, try to already get a feel for what, how I want this car to look. So I got uh, two, uh, two vertices here, plus the back one here, well, three all together that I'm working with right now. So we just wanna kinda get an idea of how our roof line's gonna look. And I always make sure that I start the, uh, the first line towards where the tire is, okay, and that's pretty much our A-pillar. That's where um, that's where it's going to extend and go up towards our roof, so we want those guys to be lined up. I am not a uh, professional uh, car designer, um, but uh, I studied a little bit of, you know, how, uh, how it works a bit. Uh, I am far from being uh, totally correct on all this stuff, but uh, I'm just going with pretty much my I own just with my eye here and just see what I can come up, can come up with. So um, we're just starting to tweak these lines just a bit, and you can uh, you know, take a long time to get something very unique here. I'm just kind of breezing through, so I'll spend time on this part. Uh, this is a crucial. This is the skeleton of your car, so this is uh, going to represent your, your proportions. Right, so I'll just tighten this up a bit. And uh, most of these curves are Bezier. Or if you right click on one of these points, uh, you can change the type of uh, curve you want. All right, but I'm just constantly creating lines. I'm just trying to, I'm pretty much scribbling to see uh, what kind of ideas I can come up with here. And this will all make sense as we move on. So I'm just drawing out a few lines here, just to kind of get a, a some kind of design of the how I want the um, side skirts and the uh, lower portion of the car to look. And then uh, see what we can come up with here. So I'm only focusing on the side of the viewport right now. That's the only, I'm just focusing on that and then we're gonna go into more 3D spline creation. But uh, just uh, follow through here, uh, create something unique, all right, for you guys. Something that, uh, that looks uh, quite nice to go with when you start uh, adding your 3D splines. All right, so I'm gonna use this line and add a few to, Jot down there, and now this line uh, seems to work with me. But I'm actually changing uh, the way it even comes across. I just want to figure out something here. The more simple, uh, the more simpler your lines are, the uh, the easier you might uh, find this to become. So just stay simple there. All right. So we're gonna create another uh, circular. Uh, spline here and that's going to represent our wheel wells and our fenders which are more or less our fender not a wheel well um, so I can have some kind of distance here we're just trying to match the green there keeping things organized I'll uh, shift and drag over a copy of that circle Bring it over. Try to match what we got here. Let's see. I'm gonna bring the back end out a bit. Maybe we want something with a longer back end. 
That's starting to look pretty cool. All right, so we're just working on the roof line here and uh, that we don't want to go too low because uh, in real life that wouldn't be true because someone wouldn't be able to sit in this car, a human being. So we need to uh, just remember that. So let's keep this as close as real life uh, dimensions as possible. All right, so we're starting to get a little bit further here and it's uh, starting to become more shape. Uh, we're starting to get more shape and um, things are looking a little bit more on the bright side here. So just uh, constantly tweaking. Um, you know, if you move, don't be uh, shy to move things around because, uh, you know, something might just uh, spike your, um, your, your palette and um, you might uh, start making some really cool designs just because you, on accident, moved something, say. And you just said, wow, that actually looks kind of cool like that. <laughs> you never know what'll happen. So, um, all right, so uh, let's add some more lines in. This is going to be our line that kind of comes down. I'm still working on that bottom line. I added a few different kinds, but now I'm starting to get an idea here. And I'm thinking of bringing out this kind of shoulder on the back of the car here and then just extend out the famous kind of vent in the middle of the door or in the middle of the door but in the rear side of the car um, that gives it that broad shoulder so this line will just kind of extend down in here somewhere All right, so we can move the uh, around a bit, but uh, that's looking not too bad. All right, but you can see how much I messed around with this and uh, you know, until I find something that's going to be suitable here, something that's going to work. And I'm very much focused on how the lines are flowing throughout the uh, car uh, because that's crucial. You don't want too much breakup in your lines. You want to keep things flowing nice front to the back. So let's uh, we'll do some modifications here to our fender. Okay, so this one here, I can come down. Let's go to our segments. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out here. I'm going to take this half, and I want to bind it to our side. I'm just going to attach it to our side and then weld these guys so they're together. So. Oops. Let's go back here. Let's get this point to meet up with that guy. All right, so let's grab, let's take off our, some of our uh, snap settings here. Go in, and we're just going to weld these guys together. So I'm going to come down and hit weld. All right. Let's weld it, make sure it's good. There it is, and then we're just bringing this guy out. We've really got some chopped up lines here. Everything's kind of uh, wavy and not looking well. So we're gonna have to do some refining. I'm working on the back corner now. So just moving things around a little bit. Just to kind of get the, uh, this is where our fender is, our upper part of the fender. Just gonna move this around a bit. Okay, so I'm also right clicking a lot on these points, and uh, you'll see me once in a while right click, and I'm just changing uh, either I'm resetting the tangent or I am uh, changing out. Instead of Bezier, I might go do like a smooth curve or uh, I never use Bezier corner, I just use Bezier smooth or 
I reset the tangent so that it's not all uh, out of place. All right, so we're just going to scale up the uh, fenders a bit more here. We're starting to get uh, somewhere here. See the back starting to form pretty nice. So I'm focusing on one certain area right now right, until I get something that uh, a nice look at. So you can see I move things around. I might undo. I might not like uh, where I'm going in that direction. So I just kind of cancel it out. Figure something else out. It's trial and error. All right, so we're going to add a bottom line again here just to represent our bottom of the car here so let's go down here let's get this point go to our refine at another point okay we can bring that up bring this guy up a bit okay we're creating our front fender now a little bit just the shape of that Okay, here's where we get a little twisted up. It's gonna move these handles around a bit until we get to the right positioning. I'm just forming the front end a bit here, just to get something interesting. Okay, look at that. It's really nice. Front end's a little long. Just let it bring it in a bit. Snap it to. Uh, that guy there. I'm going to move them together. Just a bit. So we got a long front end, uh, shorter back. Um, let's move the. Oh, that's looking better. And Steve, once I move that point of the roof it's starting to look a little bit more sleeker there and then this is kind of right now it's got a little bit of a 350z back end there um this is looking pretty good so far you guys can see uh you know where i'm going with this uh and how this is working and um you know you try this for yourself move things around um get a cool look. This really, this section of spine uh, creation is very uh, crucial because this is what really represents your car. And then we're just gonna bring it into a more 3D form. So that way we can start to lay down our first uh, polygons. And we're gonna start adding some geometry, making some top topology to, uh, to the car here. Switch it to Bezier. So again, right click and you can uh, change the options there. Depending on what point you want to change. Put these points around. Let's drag out our handles a bit. And um, start to look not too bad. I'm a big fan of this front here, so I want to change that up a bit.
So again, this is just a this is just constant uh, moving around, finding ideas, and uh, it's, it's pretty much they, just look at it like you're shaving clay. You're just getting something that you want as a side profile of the car. Um, you spend time on this. This is usually where you come up with some pretty cool ideas. So I'm adding another line here to represent the hood. So we have the fender there, and now we're creating another line to make this the hood line. In a way, so that way you can understand that maybe that's the side of the lights. So it starts to really uh, come together once you start adding these lines. You can start to see, you get the idea of um, where you're going with your design here. Put that towards the end. It's, it's quite a long car. Uh, very sporty looking, but I'm very happy of uh, what we have so far. Uh, so you can see that I moved so many points around just to get to this to this uh, part, uh, to this stage. Um, so just uh, keep focusing on your side profile, guys, and um, show me what you got. Uh, and uh, right from the side profile just like this. Show me what you have. And uh, i really like to see what you guys come up with uh, for your design. Um, you can follow my, my car if, you, if you'd like to, uh, but I recommend to do your own. Try, uh, you'll never know what you're gonna come up with and you're gonna be pretty happy that you did. Uh, so give it a shot. Show me what you got for this part of the module. And uh, we'll get on to the second module and uh, we'll start to get into 3D splines and uh, start to uh, create our 3D shape of the car. And that's where things get really interesting. But uh, go with this uh, for now. I'm just going to add a little bit more uh, tweaks here before we end this uh, video. And we get on to our next session, our next video. All right, so now I'm really taking larger chunks of the car or pieces of, this, of the, uh, the lines here and uh, moving them, and I'm starting to get. Maybe I'm gonna make the wheels a bit bigger. It always looks good when you size up the wheels. If you can see that I'm just making sure that one wheel's not bigger than the other. Uh, keep them on that uh, grid line so they stay uh, completely flush with the ground. All right, so uh, bring this up a little bit more, but this pretty much will uh, end this uh, video here. Uh, just tweak this, finish these tweaks, <laughs> and then we'll end this. We'll get into our next video and uh, start uh, continuing our spline creation. All right, guys, remember, show me what you have, and um, we can start to create our 3D splines. All right, guys, see you in the next video.